Dot dot dot. <laughs> dot dot dot. This must have been Rio's plan all along. It was my plan to come to school, but bringing you along was Hideki's idea. Yui glared at me. You could have mentioned that this guy was going out to be here. Uh, I, uh, I forgot. I knew that if I mentioned it, she wouldn't come. You two just enjoy your t alone time together at the school in the middle of the night. It should be good material for fan fiction. I'm out of here. Don't be like that girl. Doesn't this seem exciting? No. Oh, Yui is going to join us? That's awesome. Oh, Shiro is here too? Of course. How can I miss such an adventure? Dot, dot, dot. Fine. I'll come along. Could it be that these two are friends? Did I guess right? Did I involve this? Awesome! I knew you couldn't escape my ch- Oh god. Settle down, boy. I'm doing this because I don't want to leave Shiro alone with you two creeps. Why am I a creep now? At any rate, let's go before someone sees us. Good call. Want me to kick the door open? I'm ready. Yeah, let's just kick the what? No, put your leg down, Yui. What the heck is wrong with you? We have the keys. Oh, why didn't you say so? Because you didn't even ask. You were ready to push the door open. Oh, yeah. It's scary how casual she is about this. Let's go already. Shiro unlocked the door and we all walked inside. Damn, it really is dark in here. Time to take out my trusty flashlight. That's much better. Aha, uh -huh, I brought one too, man. I sure appreciate the illumination. Rio pulled a flashlight of his own out. It's a good thing you two thought of that. It seems like Yui and I forgot to bring them. Dot 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 dot. Yui scowled, apparently ashamed of the fact that she was being forced to rely on Rio and I. So what do we do now exactly? Look around, of course. The school is pretty big, so maybe we should split up into two teams. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, so how are we gonna do this? I don't know. Who do you want to go with? I'll go with Yui. What? Really? Why? Don't be like that. It'll be fun. So I'll be going with Shiro then? You're as excited about this as I am with no complaints here. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's be back here before midnight after we finish looking around. Sounds good to me. On the note, Shiro and Ryo. On that note, Shiro and Ryo left to go investigating on their own. And now I'm stuck with you in the middle of the night at school. It's like my nightmares are coming true. You have dreams about me? Aw, I didn't know you cared. You glared at me as I spoke. But anyway, let's look around and see if we can find anything. Fine. I'm gonna crack that shell. Oh wow, look, another empty room. That's a nice change. Hilarious. Just keep looking, will you? Face it, Hideki. We aren't going to find any ghosts here or anywhere for that matter. Well, duh. Of course I know that, but investigating is fun. Don't be a buzzkill, Yui. <laughs> Whatever, I'm bored of this place. H hey, where are you going? You walked out of the classroom. Great. Now I have to follow her. Yui walked around the corner corridor as I followed her. Where are we even going? Oh, the courtyard. Yeah, I always wanted to see this place at night. This should be an interesting place to look for some ghosts. If only I had a red vacuum cleaner with me right now. I'd feel much safer. G get it? Just don't. Please don't ruin good games with me, with your lame jokes. <gasps> She's a gamer. Ch you don't have a serious sense of humor, Yui. That was gold. Whatever. I'm going to look around over there. You walked further away and sat on the same bench as usual. So her idea of looking around is doing the exact same thing she does at school every day. Whatever. I guess it's up to good old Hideki to bust those ghosts. 
I started walking around looking through the courtyard as my flashlight lit the way. But there's plenty of other lights out anyway, you dumbass. Nothing here. Hmm, still nothing. Yui stood up and walked towards me. Did you find something, Hideki Gumshoe? Um, yes. I mean, no. Wait, what? I checked my shoes to see if I tried on anything. Just face it, Heidi. We aren't going to find any. Just as Yui was talking, she was interrupted by a sound of bushes moving. <laughs> what was that? You would grab my hand tightly. I don't know, but it came from the bushes over there. Let me check it out. No! Eh? Don't leave me alone. I, I mean, I want to come with you. Sh sure. We both walked over to the bush. Okay, it came from here. I started looking around the bush as Yui tightened her grip on my hand. Just then, a cat jumped out at us. The pussy came out. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> it's just a cat. Uh, oh, uh, a kitty? Yui's expression changed and she no longer looked scared. It's so cute. What is a cat doing here at this time of night? As Yui said that, the cat ran away. Aww. With our source of mutual interest having vanished, you and I were alone once more. And as the excitement passed, Yui looked at my hand and realized she was still grabbing it. Eh. <laughs> Your face is coming as red as a tomato, Yui. Yui pulled her hand away. Shut up! That was really something. You're not going to mention this to anyone, got it? Oh, sure. I won't tell anyone how much of a scaredy cat you are. Yui punched my shoulder. Ow! I'm just kidding, jeez. I'm serious. F fine, I won't tell anyone. Good, you better not. I've never seen the side of Yui before. I never thought she could get scared so easily, especially given how tough she acts all the time. Maybe there's there's more to Yui than I thought. What the heck are you doing just staring at me like that? Eh? Oh, uh, uh, I zoned out for a second there. Let's get back to the others now. Okay. Oh, there you are, you two. Did you find anything? <laughs> no, not really. We didn't find anything in the courtyard either. Even so, we still have five minutes before midnight. Yeah, Ryo was right. Let's wait around a little longer. Taking Ryo's idea to heart, we stood there in the hallway and talked for a while. But the moment it hit night, we all were dead quiet. Nothing could be heard, not even the sound of us breathing. Everything looked rather worried as the wind blew around the school. Okay, this silence is getting a bit terrifying. What was that? I don't freaking know. It came from the club room. Should we go check it out? I'll go. You guys wait here. Don't act like a hero now, Hideki. This might be serious. I'm not acting like a hero. I'm sure it was nothing. If something happens, I'll call out for you guys. Just be careful, Hideki. Don't worry. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, the noise came from this room right here. I slowly grabbed the handle and opened the door. Okay, everything seems normal in here. One of the boxes fell over, but how? Just then, I felt a hand on my right shoulder. <gasps> what, what the hell? I quickly jumped forward and turned around. What the? Shinatsu! What in the world are you doing here? I'm sorry. I, was, I scared you like that. I saw you enter the school earlier and heard about your plan with the others. I wanted to join in, but lost track of you on campus. Oh, I, I see. So it wasn't the Midnight Ghost after all. Nope. You still scared the hell out of me. Oh. It's just a shame you weren't a soul-consuming ghost. <laughs> Sorry for busting your bubble. It's okay. Anyway, let's head back to the others. Um, maybe we shouldn't. What do you mean? You guys came all the way here searching for a ghost. It'd be a shame to disappoint them. True. Ryo and Shiro would most likely be bummed about this. What should we do? I'm sure you can come up with something to tell them. I'll leave through the back door. Alright, cool. Uh, hurry before they see you, please. Okay, good luck, Hideki. Shinatsu exited the room. Alright, time to have a good old-fashioned Hideki lying session. Uh. Well... Hey, Deki, bro. What took you so long? We thought you were dead. We were about to plan your funeral. You sure have faith in me, Yui. Anyway, when I reached the door, I started to hear a noise. 
It sounded like a girl talking to herself. I slowly opened the door and walked inside, only to see the silhouette of a girl behind the curtains. Erin was looking at me with her eyes sparkled. I slowly walked towards it, but when I moved the curtains, there was no one there. I stayed in the room for a little while, then came back there, but that's what happened. Whoa, that sounds awesome, brah. So could have been ghost folk girl, darn, we were so close. Yeah, I wish I was with you to see it. You guys don't really believe this, do you? It just sounds like a typical horror movie cliche. Did that really happen, Hideki? Huh? Of course it did. Why would I lie about that? Hmm. I should be more creative next time. Just don't blow my cover, Yui. This is so exciting and all, but this place is starting to give me the chills. Yeah, and it's getting late. Maybe we could come back again tomorrow and continue the investigation. Okay, let's leave it at that for now. You locked all the doors, right? Yep, it's like we were never there. Good, we don't want to get in any trouble. This was really fun, even though we didn't find much. Still, I enjoyed spending time with you guys. <laughs> Me too, brah. Anyway, I should be heading home now. <laughs> Same here, I'll walk with you. Goodbye, you too. Bye. Ryo and Shiro walked away. I should head to the dorms too. <laughs> I'll walk you there. You don't have to, they aren't far away. I know, that's why I want to do it. Well, do as you wish. There we go. I'll see you later, Yui. As I turned to walk away, Yui grabbed onto my sleeve. Mm, hi, Daki. Yeah? I just wanted to say that I had fun today. And thanks for not mentioning what happened to the others. Oh, don't mention it. I had fun too. This doesn't change the fact that I think you're annoying. <laughs> Don't worry, I am self-aware. Well, as long as you know. Try not to have any nightmares after what happened today. I could say the same to you. Bye, Hideki. Good night. With those parting words, Yui walked into the dorm. Oh well, I guess I should have headed home myself. As I walked into my home, I crept more quietly than ever before, exercising far more caution than at school. I didn't even make a sound. My mother would freak out if she knew I sneaked down in the middle of the night. I should head straight to my room. I walked to my room and immediately threw myself on the bed. Man, I am so tired. It was a lot of fun though. Either way, I wonder what happened to Chinatsu. I hope she made it home safely. Oh, what a day. Or rather, what a night. To think that we actually stuck into this place in the dead of night. Wait a minute. What am I doing here? I only just woke up. Did I fall asleep in class again? I hope the teacher didn't notice. Hang on. Where is everyone? Looks like I'm the only one here. It's so quiet and empty. I moved away from my desk and walked towards the window. Huh? There's nobody outside either. Did I come to school on a Saturday without noticing? That doesn't sound like something I'd do. Either way, if I'm the only one here, then... I walked through the door and out of the classroom. As expected, it's empty out here too. It's just so quiet. As I approach the school entrance, I know someone standing next to the school gate with their back towards me. Though it was hard to tell from the distance, they looked like a little girl. What is she doing here? Is she waiting for someone? No, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any send. <laughs> There's no one else here. There's a typo. I better just go and ask her. I started walking towards the little girl. Um, hello there, little... Gah! Just as I was about to tap her shoulder, I felt something strike the back of my head. Oh, man. Ah. That was... Wait. What the hell's going on here? Why am I back in class? I was just outside and... As I felt to an increasing degree that something was amiss, I looked towards the front of the room. The board on which classwork would usually be written contained a single phrase. The words, Why, Hideki? were written all over the whiteboard and black marker. What... is going on here? Is someone playing a prank on me? I need to get out of here. This place is making me feel uncomfortable. 
Screw this place. Why didn't even come here? I walked towards the stairs and started running down. What the? I continued running down the stairs. How do I keep returning to the same hallway? This doesn't make any sense. I looked at the end of the hallway and saw someone standing there. I can't really tell who that is, but I can see their lips moving. Are they talking to me? I can't hear them. I started walking towards the mysterious person. As I walked, I watched their expressions constantly change from that of someone laughing to an expression of anger to misery and then back to laughter. Are you talking to me? No matter how much I walked, I wasn't able to reach them. It was as though I was walking in an endless hallway. Hey, who the heck are you? What are you saying? The figure then disappeared momentarily, only to reappear behind me. I could feel their breath running down my neck as I slowly turned around. I know what you are doing. You better stop while you still can. <laughs> I'm in my room? Unbelievable. Was that all a dream? Great, just what I needed. Like one recurring nightmare wasn't enough. Are they supposed to mean something? Or are they just random? No. Calm down, Hideki. I'm sure I'm just worked up from all the crap we did last night. I freaked myself out by going ghost hunting, and that dream was the price I paid. As I watered downstairs, dressed for school and ready to go, I joined my mother for breakfast. Wow, Heidi, you look even more tired than usual. I just had a bit of a restless night, I guess. Really? You look like you sneaked out to go on a crazy adventure in the middle of the night. What? That's ridiculous. I would never. Calm down, Heidi. I was just kidding. I know all about it. Yeah, I, I know. So she certainly did nail it. Anyways, I guess I'll be off now. Those tests won't ace themselves. Alright, Heidi. See you at dinner. Later, Ma. When I reached my classroom, the first sight to grace my eyes was that of Ryo and Shiro talking next to my decks. Oh, there's the man himself. Hello, Hideki. Good morning, you two. Still discussing the paranormal? After last night's awesome adventure, how could we not? Yeah, we're trying to solve the mystery of the midnight ghost. We should come to school at night again. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys shouldn't give this too much thought, especially with finals approaching. Yeah. I guess you have a point. Even so, we shouldn't let this go. Yeah, this mystery needs to be solved, man. Oh, these two are just... Oh, class is starting. I should return to my seat. Yeah, we'll talk about this later. Shiro and Ryo both returned to their desks and sat down. With my desk now free, I declined. I decided to follow suit mere moments before the teacher walked in. After surviving the entire lesson in a state of semi-consciousness, break time arrived before I knew it. The classroom was nearly empty, leaving only myself and the teacher, who was working on some papers. Mm. I guess I'll head to the cafeteria and grab something to eat. I stood up and started walking towards the door. Hideki, can I have a word with you? Uh, uh, sure. It didn't seem like you were listening in class today. Ah, crap. We were bound to have this conversation at some point.